Another rumor I heard at the combine. Is this a new one? Like, nope. Number two on the list. Oh, yeah, number two. Number two on the list. The Packers sure hope Aaron Rodgers, when he comes out of his thoughtful procedure about what to do, will say, I, um, I, I, I don't want to come back. Then you hear uh, my buddy, Hal Wingo the third, Trey Wingo. Yeah. He said that the Rodgers and the Jets had conversations today, this was last night, while nothing's imminent, Rodgers opened to the idea of going to New York. Many reports following today, actual reports, that Rodgers and the Jets are talking. That they're, it's happening today. Aha! As R- Ian R- retweeted, Rodgers has received permission to speak with the Jets. Source confirms some due diligence. <laughs> he got permission. The Packers said, go talk to him. Go talk to him. Why would they say that? <laughs> it's not, he's not a free agent. He's not. Which leads me to believe he's about to become a New York Jet. The only thing that my mind that would hold this thing up, because if he's talking somewhere else and the Packers are like, go ahead and talk then I believe that relationship is over. Can it be put back in the bottle? Of course. Crazier things have happened. I talked to the Jets. I'm not interested. I want to come back to you. Oh, okay. Welcome back. But in the back of everyone's mind will just be the fact that, yeah, I wanted to talk to somebody else and you let me. That might be actually appreciated by Rodgers. And again, what I heard at the combine is that's appreciated by the Packers. You go talk to somebody else. Go for it. Now, it leads me to believe he's going to be a Jet. And the only thing that would hold it up is that the Packers say, you yeah, know, we're only picking up 10 of his 60 million. We're only picking up five of his 60 million. I don't know what that number is going to be, that the Jets are comfortable paying it. And then whatever amount that the Packers pick up, the larger that amount gets, the higher the draft choice, one would think would be coming from the Jets. We're picking up a lot of his salary in order for you to get Aaron Rodgers at a rate less than, say, what Geno Smith is now going to be paying, playing for in Seattle. That's going to cost you draft choice. It's now a horse trade, it seems, between the two general managers, I would think. I'm sure Rodgers in these conversations would be philosophical in nature, but the offensive coordinator that he had and has spoken so highly of that everyone thought when he was hired by Denver to be the head coach there, that was the clear indication that Rodgers would wind up in Denver. Nathaniel Hackett's now in New York. So how many, what philosophical conversations need to be had? That's so deep that it would go a next day. I don't know. Rodgers is a deep thinker. Seems to me he's going to be a Jet. And that just blows my mind. (laughs) That blows my mind on two fronts. (laughs) One, that Rodgers is willing to go to New York. And I hope, man, do I, obviously, he's a Jet. I hope this works out. I would just, I'm I'm closing my eyes. I'm like, do I see Rodgers in the Canyon of Heroes as the, Second number 12 winning a Super Bowl. Thanks, everybody. Love you. I now don't have to buy a meal here the rest of my life. Thank you. I took the Jets to the promised land, all you Jet fans. In my remaining years of, uh, of uh, goatness, I actually went to New York and I did something that Favre did, which blows my mind, and did something that Favre couldn't do here. By the way, radio audience, I'm waving to all the folks down <laughs> Going up the Canyon of Heroes. What's up? How you doing? <laughs> you, you, yeah, you, you. Do I see that? It's tough to envision. You know why? Because I'm a pessimist. I'm a Jet fan. I wear the scars. <laughs> Are we really going to get the Rodgers of the MVP years? Last two? We're going to get that guy? Really? Garrett Wilson's going to work out with him. Suddenly Elijah Moore's going to work out. And Maybe. Yeah, Brees Hall won't have his knee blown out this time. Like all the things. It's really going to work out. I'll tell you, though, is that if you're, if you're hoping that Zach Wilson's going to be the guy there still, 
and you want to give him a shot to develop. He's such a young kid. You want to give him a shot to develop? Aaron Rodgers, bridge quarterback? There you go. Hadn't heard that concept ever. But sign me up if he can win. And if he wins, then all the questions about anything he says outside of the lanes of football will subside in the same way none of them were brought up to him inside that locker room in Green Bay. But it surprises me. He's like, yeah, sign me up. I'll leave Green Bay. I'll play for the New York Jets. Or he's willing to do that. And then, of course, the other side, I just have to, I I spill this stuff out. It's just, I know Jet fans feel the same damn way. (laughs) How the hell are we back here again? Look it up for me, Chris. I think I know the answer. How many playoff seasons have the Jets had since they tried Favre on for size? When Favre yeah. came there for Mangini, and if I'm not mistaken, did Mangini like get a tattoo or name his kid, his middle name Favre, Brett or Favre or something like that since the Jets went all in? So Favre was 2008. Yep. He had one year, Brett Favre went 9-7. and seven. Correct. Uh, then the next year, they then made the it. next year, Rex came in, mm-hmm. and you made a back-to-back AFC That's championship right. games. And then what happened after that? Uh, after that. Um, we haven't made it since. There's been no playoff. Birth. Correct. Yeah. So you had Favre, and then you went and got a kid in the draft and actually had a pop. Now we went for the kid in the draft. Doesn't work. So now we're back in the position of trying on the Packers' goat for size. How the hell did we get back here again? And I guess once we try the Packers' goat on for size, then we'll go back to the kid we drafted. Is that the way it's going to work? And the draft choices that you cough up for him, you're you're, you're, you're willing to give up? I guess so. How the hell did this happen? We were supposed to be strolling up Zach's Fifth Avenue, not hoping that Rogers would be strolling down the Canyon of Heroes. I don't know why this always keeps happening to the Jets. I don't know why. And I know Salah said he keeps receipts of people who doesn't believe in them, and I know he had fun rescinding that comment here on this, even on this program here. And how Garrett Wilson and... Sauce Gardner and Brees Hall and Elijah Vera Tucker are changing the culture in that locker room. But I cannot believe the Jets are back here again, throwing a Hail Mary in the direction of Green Bay. And in many, remarkably, and we've heard this before, a Hail Mary involving Aaron Rodgers appears to be connecting. He completes those. Sometimes. He does. And had you listened to me a month ago, you would have been settled in on this decision and you'd be <laughs> feeling better about it right now. But you didn't want to listen. <laughs> you'd be feeling great today. If I listened to you? A month ago, yeah. Okay. I told you it was going to happen. I just don't trust anything from you since you were trolling me about Mike White <laughs> two calendar years ago. Was so. that a tro- Chris, was that a troll or was that it was not. speaking facts? Anything He was other the best quarterback on the team at that point. Look. Right? Look, look, look. <laughs> All I know is I appreciate it from you. At least we did hear about the two conference championship seasons the Jets have had in the last 25 years. Yeah. So that's why I don't believe it from the man to my right. He's taking a shot at you. I just did. Yeah. Yep. 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 Oh, I I know. But the fact of the matter is I did say this was going to (sighs) happen, and he didn't want to listen. But that rumor (laughs) seems to be a fact, doesn't it? It's hot. Well, they gave him permission to talk to the Jets. It's happening. If they wanted him back, like the two previous years, they'd say, no, you're back. You're under contract. We're paying you all that money. So I hear that, and I think to myself, it's now on the general managers, and Rogers is going to be a Jet. Wow. Does that make 2023 lit or what? It's coming. I believe it is coming. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.